What's up friends? I know you guys are probably watching this video because you got frustrated trying to transfer your photos from your iPhone to your MacBook or to an external hard drive and you've about lost your mind and you're coming here for a solution. So um, I had the same experience. What I found is the best way to transfer your photos and videos from your iPhone to a different source is to use the cap image capture on your MacBook. So you plug your iPhone into your MacBook with a USB cable, open up image capture, just go to the search, type that in, it'll pop up, and then it will pop up all of your photos and videos on your phones, so then you collect the destination folder you want that to go into, and then you click, um, I always do delete after import, uh, select all and start. What happens though is they get stuck converting and it takes forever and I was trying to transfer all these photos and videos over and it, they wouldn't go at all, they got stuck. And I was trying to get these gone so we could go on a trip and take some new photos and pictures. So I found a solution, so I want to share with you guys, and here it is. Okay, here's what you do when your photos get stuck converting during the process of using the image capture, transferring your photos from the iPhone to the MacBook or to your external hard drive. What you want to do is go into your settings, scroll down to the photos, you open up the photos and you scroll it down to the bottom and at the bottom it's going to say transfer to Mac or PC and it has automatic or keep originals. It's automatically set at automatic. So what you want to do is hit keep originals. Once you've done that, I want you to completely shut down and hard reset your phone and then restart it and then turn it back on. And then once that happens, then you can go in and back into your image capture, hit import all, and you're gonna see that they start to transfer uh, immediately without trying to convert, and it's so much faster. And the reason for that is, when it's set to automatic, it automatically transfers your photos and videos in a compatible format. So it's going to change them or convert them to a format that's compatible. But if you keep it as, set, if you change it to keep originals, it's going to transfer the original file without checking for compatibility. I hope that helps you guys out. If it does, please share it with somebody else and I'm happy to help.